What's up guys, in this episode I'm going to talk about super valuable Sacagawea dollar coins issued by the US Mint in 2000. This is the first year of issue, the Sacagawea dollar according to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS. The Mint had the notion that the new gold colored dollars will be extremely popular within US monetary system. Consequently, it struck over 760 million coins just for this date, a mint mark alone. Compare this mintage to 2002p where the mint struck less than 4 million uncirculated coins. After the first year of striking Sacagawea dollars, the mint realized that the coins were not that popular. Banks and institutions still had most of them in, in their inventory, while a very small amount of total mintage actually went into circulation. Due to the very high mintage of this issue, coins exist in very high grades including in MS69 condition. The most valuable specimen is an error dollar, 2000p Sacagawea dollar milled with statewood quarter. Grade at Mint Day 67 by NGC, a gorgeous specimen of this incredible rarity showcasing golden tan surfaces with areas of richer honey colorations throughout. The overall pristine surfaces are complemented by satiny, cartwheeling luster and bold definition to the design elements. Dye striations at the border as seen on all known examples creating a spectacular sunburst effect most dramatic on the obverse. Among all the coins produced at the United States Mint, Mullingers are one of the highest rarity and were once branded as impossibility. Once discovered, Mint employees combed through the beans where the freshly struck coins were deposited and culling out all the milled coins they could and destroyed all of them, or so they thought. A few managed to escape and in late May of 2000, the first example was found in a roll of new Sacagawea dollars by Frank Wallace in Arkansas. Attention was already being paid to new coin design when new reports started to come out through various press channels and the hunt was on. Sold in 2018 for $192,000 at Stax Powers. In 1999, the Mint had to provide general meals 5500 Sacagawea dollars for an agreed promotion. In the promotion, General Mills would place 5500 Sacagawea dollars into inside every 2000s box of Cheerios. In 2005, the collector Tom Dilroy discovered that some of these 5500 Sacagawea dollars had a special detailed design on the reverse of the coin. This different design had Detail veins in eagle's tail feathers. Uncirculated and including proof coins lacked these fine details on eagle's feathers. After the initial discovery, the hunt was on and collectors searched to see if they had this scarce design referred to as Cheerios dollars, since the coins were only being found inside Cheerios boxes. This one is at Mint Day 68, the very scarce and much publicized Cheerios variety, which shows greater feather definition on the eagle's tail feathers including a raised line on the central feathers. Both sides are immaculately preserved. Sold on August 1st, 2008 for $34,500 at Heritage Auctions. The next super valuable specimen is this 2000 Sacagawea dollar coin struck on a Susan B. Anthony dollar planchet, as described in the 100 greatest US error coins. This type of error coin came about when a leftover planchet intended to be struck for 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollar dies was actually struck by Sacagawea dollar dies. This is referred to as off-metal transitional error and is very rare. This error is probably due to the fact that US Mint was striking both 1999 Anthony dollars and 2000 Sacagawea dollars at the same time. Intense cartwheel luster springs boldly throughout the near-perfect gem surfaces of this important off-metal wrong planchette error. The strike is sharp and crisp on both sides with even the tiniest of details fully represented. Low magnification reveals two light vertical die cracks on Sacagawea's portrait, both beginning on her forehead. Sold in 2012 for $16,450 at Stax Powers.